Hi, today we're going to learn about the regulation of the cell cycle. Internal and external factors regular regulates cell division. External factors include physical and chemical signals. It happens outside the cells, such as interaction with other cells and parts of the body. Um, an example of an external factors are cell-to-cell -cell contacts. Once it touches, it cannot divide anymore for some reason. <laughs> Many cells release chemical signals to tell others to grow or how to react. Growth factors are proteins that stimulate cell division. Growth factors are broad groups of proteins that stimulate growth. It binds to receptors that activate specific genes to grow. Cells grow and divide in response in, in a combination of different cell growth factors most an mammal cells form a single layer in the culture dish and stop dividing once they touch other cells two of the most important internal factors are kine kinases and cyclines wait ah um Internal fact factors. When external factors bind to receptors, they can trigger trigger internal factors that affect the cell cycle. Um, kinesis. Ah, kinesis. Um, it is an enzyme that transfers a phosphate group from one molecule to a specific target molecule. It increases energy and shape. And cyclin. It is a group of proteins that... That... Oh, this way guys. No. What happened? <laughs> that are rapidly made and destroyed at a certain point in the cell cycle. Yeah. Apoptosis. Apoptosis is program cell is a program cell death. Um, it occurs when internal and external signals activate genes that help produce cell self destructive enzymes. So it's like a self dis um destructive um process. So basically, we have the nucleus shrinking and breaks apart and the cell is recognized by specialized cells in the immune system. Occurs in the de development of infants. Here we can see a baby in the embryo having a web finger and web toes. As, um, as apoptosis occurred, we can now see that the baby having given birth but uh, by the mother, we can see separate fingers not web anymore. Cell division is uncontrolled in cancer. Cancer Cancer is a common name for, sorry that was my sister. The common name for a class of disease characterized by uncontrolled cell division. It arises when regulation of cell cycle break down, breaks down. So basically, cancer just keeps on dividing no matter what. Cancer cells forms disorganized clumps called tumor. We have two types of tumors, well, basically, major types. We have the benign tumor, which is typically clustered together, may be harmless, and may be cured by removal. That's a good thing if you have cancer. Because if you have a benign tumor, you can just take up that part of your body 
um, through surgical process and 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 can recover from cancer. Malignant um, malignant tumors are metastasized or break away and can form more tumors, which is really deadly. It is a tumor in which cells break away and spread to other parts of the body, causing harm to organism to the organism's health. Metastasize. Um, the meaning of that word is to spread by transferring a disease-causing agent from the site of the disease to other parts of the body. It happens in the bloodstream and lymph and is difficult to remove. Cancer cells make cells lose function like no... For example, if your lungs have um, cancer, the lungs will lose its major function which is to which is to um, produce oxygen for our body for us to breathe if we have lung cancer we would we will have a ha very hard time to breathe and yeah carcinogens are substance known to promote cancer um like we have radiation and we have cigarettes and stuff treatments include radiation and chem chemotherapy oh I'm sorry chemotherapy um radiation is just a local target at, in the body while chemotherapy or synthetic drugs that travels throughout the entire body and that's it yeah thank you